So you worked with uh, a man who is 45 years old, if I'm remembering correctly, and he had ALS and hadn't articulated in about five years, is that right? Yes, he was severely dysarthric, meaning most people couldn't understand him, and he volunteered for this BrainGate 2 clinical trial that we are one of four sites of, which meant that uh, after a bunch of tests and imaging scans and other things, once we determined that it was a good fit and it was safe to move forward, he'd had this surgery where Dr. Brandman, my collaborator, put these four multi-electrode arrays into his speech motor cortex. We waited a couple of weeks for everything to heal up. And then we went to his house where all of our equipment was already pre-staged. We literally plugged him in. So there's th this system is, is wired, so it's not wireless yet. And the way we started it was we needed what's called training data in the machine learning sense. So we needed the algorithms to see a bunch of examples of him trying to say words and then what the neural activity looked like. And what this actually looked like in the room was picture a person in a wheelchair looking at a computer screen. We put up what seemed like random sentences. The text would appear, it would turn green, he would try to speak, and then he would stop. And we just did this for about 30 minutes. And one of the big questions at the time was how much data do you need to make this work? 